Today we're going back to the year 2004 and we're using FL Studio version 4.2. This was released just about 20 years ago. The latest edition of FL Studio being 21, but we're going back 17 versions of FL Studio. This should be extremely different. Now, originally I wanted to go back all the way to 1997 and use FL Studio 1, the complete original version of FL Studio. But I think it's literally impossible to use on a Windows 11 PC. I think I need to run some sort of Windows 95 emulator. But listen, if this video hits 1K likes, I will somehow get the original version of FL Studio 1 working. We'll make a video around it. Now listen, if you're trying to do this yourself, you can come to the image line archives where you will find all the installer archives for all previous versions of FL. I'll leave a link for that in the description. But anyway, FL Studio 1, 2, and 3 wouldn't work. But the almighty FL Studio 4 is working for us. Here's a quick memory flash of what was happening in 2004. We had Halo 2, ETA San Andreas, Counter-Strike Source all released. Facebook was officially launched. Trek 2, Spider-Man 2, Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban all released this year. A lot has changed since then. So let's go see how much FL has changed. Okay. Sure. I just got flashbanged open up FL. What have we got here? For anyone that's confused as why there's something on my screen right now, it's the first time you ever launch FL Studio always launches with like a project song. And it's kind of crazy that they've actually kept this tradition all the way since FL4. Let's listen to what they were making back in 2004. What is this going to be? It sounds like some James Bond video game music. All right, listen, I'm not listening to all this. Let's just try. First of all, the layout of this is kind of crazy. I don't know what's going on down here. I have no idea what this is down the bottom. Playlist looks hella different. Can we like zoom in? Okay, we can zoom in. Control and zoom. No, control and zoom don't work. I presume all of these shortcuts will not work on this. Now, let me just get a new project going. Now we've got a completely wiped FL tempo. Let's pick a 147. We have got the step sequencer and we cannot drag this out any further. That's what your first beat on FL normally sounds like. Step sequencer, you gotta put it up here. This, <laughs> this is our mixer. How do you even route something to the mixer? Now, what on earth is this? Why is the piano roll red? Holy sh please put this like custom. No. So you're telling me FL Studio 4 has custom colors? In 2004, they were giving us custom colors. How many years did we have FL with no custom skin colors? What color we go for? Purple. We're gonna have a purple. Piano roll is kind of a bit mad. Gets got scale highlighting on. No, we can't. I might be in trouble here because I know no music theory. Okay, at least it gives us the notes here. Speaking of mel making melodies, let's see what BSTs are in FL Studio 4. These are all the stock plugins that come with FL Studio 4. Okay, we got FL Keys. I'm kind of happy to see FL Keys. I'm not gonna lie. I never thought I'd say that. Bro, this literally feels like I'm in the 90s. They got presets on this thing. Oh. All right, listen, let's see what uh, other effects and stuff we can actually put on this. Someone master. Okay, what can we put on the master? Okay, these are all the stock plugins. Okay, there's actually quite a lot of plugins here that we use. I like Fruity Chorus, Fruity Delay, Fast Disc, Flanger, Flanges, Parametric EQ, Phaser, Reverb, the Soft Clipper. Hang on, Clipper, get that shit. Bro, it's literally the exact same as well. Parametric EQ. What's the buzz of the peak? There we go. This is pretty difficult when you don't have waveforms on your EQ, but Stereo Enhancer. Bro, Stereo Enhancer is the exact same as well. Bro, it's still got the preset that I use to this day for strings. Fruity Reverb. We always use Reverb. Good God, what is this? Chorus. Sure. Oh, that's a bit detuned, but sure, look. I'm actually pretty impressed with the amount of effects that come all the way from 2004 to this current day that people are still using. How do I, how do I insert something? Sure. I'm going to mute Wasp for a second. We're just going to try to get down some piano instead. Let's leave the melody as it is right now. Let me see if I can try somehow put some drums on this thing. Okay, they have loaded in. By the way, new drum kit just dropped. It's called New School. It is a Jersey Club drum kit. We might try make some Jersey at the end of this video. Right now, we're going to try make some drill. Okay, there is slides in 2004. This is where I'm going to get a bit stuck because like I said, I don't know scales.
Bro, the UI on this is actually doing my head in. This is the most frustrated. Let's try to put a bit of reverb on these hats also. Let's uh, normalize the snare. I'm not sure how this kick's gonna work because like you might know I use Maximus for my kicks on drill. Is there a way to make up mono here? I don't think there is. Then I presume down the bottom here is where you throw in like the wave forms and stuff. Like, oh my God, it is. All right, listen, let's try to make something else. All right, for this time, we're going to test out how to use loops. I've got a lot of loops loaded up here from Harry Beach. Now, one thing that I'm seeing is you can't actually preview these loops whatsoever. So I think you just have to drag them down into this thing down here. All right, it's 145. Let's go 145. I like this. Now, the real sponsor of this video today is me. I just dropped my newest jersey drum kit. It's called New School because all of these sounds are literally going to be the new sounds that are pushing the whole jersey wave. If you're trying to make jersey, you're going to need this drum kit, I promise. It's got all the essential sounds that you need, plus all of these crazy unique sounds that I've made from scratch, aka the jersey perk section. Can I, like, edit this at all? Can I make this unique? Oh my god, is this Edison? Okay, I don't think you can make things unique on this. Why can't I make this unique? How do I go across? Making Jersey Beats in FL4? Kind of easy. Or maybe it's because my drum kit's that good. Finding the mixing a little bit difficult on FL4, I'll be real. Get like a box. Bring it back. This is kind of crazy. I can't lie. I'm not a fan of... Oh, you can bring this up all the way. Why is there like two playlists? There's like a playlist for patterns and a playlist for waveforms. Anyway, this has been the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed this little nostalgic look back on FL Studio 4 and what it has to offer. Link for my Jersey New School drum kit in the description. If you're trying to make Jersey beats, I just showed you exactly how easy it is. I was just dragging and dropping things. Even on FL Studio 4, it's still sounding pretty nice. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like. Like I said, 1,000 likes. That's a lot to ask. If it hits 1,000 likes, I will find a way to get FL Studio 1. Appreciate you for watching. Run me up on Instagram and Twitch because there are any new things to care about. I'm out. Good luck. Bye.